the bible says that when the demon comes and he finds the house and the house is clean and we talk about that you have to clean up your life it's very important but there is one more thing which allowed the demon to succeed in bringing seven other demons they were fiercer and stronger than them it's the fact that the house was empty the house wasn't occupied the house was clean but not full the house was swept but not possessed I'm not sure how the person succeeded in getting a demon out without filling their life with something else but I do know the tendency I have and so do you the tendency of reducing freedom to doing what I want instead of doing what I ought I know the human tendency of reducing deliverance to only removing evil instead of replacing evil with something that's good when God came to deliver Israel out of Egypt and through Moses he came to Pharaoh and he said to Pharaoh this we see this mentioned 17 times in nine chapters 17 times in nine chapters God into Pharaoh says this let my people we all heard that but it's what's after with the surprising 17 times God said to Pharaoh so that they may serve me it's interesting God didn't tell Pharaoh let them go so they can have a great life though that was part of the freedom God didn't say let them go so that they can be free to do what they want though that was part of the package God said let them go so they can serve me means God's definition of freedom is not getting the demons out it's replacing the demons with himself it's as though before God brings you into a better life after setting you free God says before I give you a better life I'm gonna give you a better master I'll get rid of that devil that you served and I'll put myself instead of that and I'm a better than the devil I'll treat you better he beat you I'll feed you he threw your children into a Nile I'll raise them to conquer the gates of your enemies that Pharaoh he made you sick I'll make you whole that Pharaoh he made you poor I'll prosper you that Pharaoh he beat you and he made you build his pyramids and I will lift you up and give you houses you didn't build vineyards didn't plant and the wells that you didn't dig that Pharaoh he starved you I will give you manna every single day God says I want to set you free not to just kick the Pharaoh out but to take his place in your life but many times when we get free we're like well praise God finally I can do what I want well praise God I don't have to spend three hundred dollars on weed now I can buy new purses every month well praise God I'm no longer heartbroken now I am available well praise God I don't have this crazy reckless schedule where I didn't sleep now I don't live that kind of party lifestyle I go to sleep at 8 and I wake up at 8 in the morning and I good my 12 hours of sleep and when a pastor challenges the church to come to morning prayer oh no I can't do that but when you were in the world you had no curfew when you came to God there's nothing wrong with curfew but God does not want to remove evil only he wants to replace evil and if he doesn't the Bible says being empty is dangerous being free is dangerous if you are not filled can somebody say amen apostle Paul says where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom the correct verse the original language says where the spirit is Lord there is freedom look at this it doesn't say where the demons are out there is freedom it doesn't say where depression is out there is freedom uh, the way we define freedom is that once you get a demon out you're free the Bible says until the spirit is Lord you're not really free you're as free as how much control Holy Spirit has over your life